Happy Valentine's Day. We hope you have a nice Valentine's Day for, for the Grass Fed Homestead. Happy Valentine's Day. Do you guys remember a few days ago when I said this? With a lot of our snow gone, all these chickens outside of their fencing, and the sun out, it feels like it might almost be spring soon. We'll check this out. Just when we were starting to think that winter had given up and we were moving into an early spring, we wake up to six inches of snow this morning. Last night I looked out the window at about 10 p.m. No snow outside, nothing falling from the sky, everything was clear. But now, winter has returned. I actually have a really big sled that I could load up with hay and drag it out there through the snow so it eases my burden traveling through the snow. I don't know, here comes the cat. Come on down, Priscilla. I probably should use it more, but I figured the exercise is good. Are they all ready for breakfast, little buddy? But are the lambs ready for breakfast? Yes, this one is my favorite. How about Blue? Blue, are you ready, boy? Yeah, Blue doesn't eat grass, but we'll get him some dog food. Excuse me, girls. Excuse me, girls. Watch out. Are you excited for breakfast, Clara? Here's some for you, Clara. Yeah. Hey, little buddy. See if you can come help this chicken. Can you grab her? Chicken, See if you can get her back into where the other chickens are. Whoa. She made it.
and she's back. <laughs> You made it all the way, Rooster. Good job. You shall be rewarded for your efforts, sir. Hey, come back. I got your food. Oh, you want to see the ladies. Usually when we have a snowstorm like this, Ashley likes to come out and shovel the path for the chickens. She likes the exercise and also she's tender-hearted toward the fowl. Sadly, she is traveling. She is gone for Valentine's Day, so it's just me and little buddy. What? Happy Valentine's Day. That's right. Happy again. Valentine's Day again. All right, chickens. Mixed in with their chicken feed, I have their grit. I don't know if you can see all those gray pieces. That's a little crushed rock for their grit to help them grind their grain in their digestive system. And how is everyone in here doing? You ladies good? You're gonna give some eggs even though it's snowed? I found that when we get snow on the southern wall of the greenhouse here, that egg production drops dramatically, and that's because there's less light getting through there. Chickens are less prone to lay their eggs when there's less light. So I'm gonna get that snow cleared off, and hopefully we'll still squeeze a few eggs out today. That should give them a lot more light in there. They don't like the process. They kind of freak out as I'm sloughing off the snow from the roof, but it's really for their own benefit and mine. Look at these cat tracks, little buddy. They go all the way down to the main gate. We gotta open that main gate so Paul, our neighbor, can plow in here. Yeah. Let's go. We've been leaving the gate open all winter, so we wouldn't have the problem of getting it open for our neighbor to come in here and do the snow blowing, and also for our own ingress and egress purposes. The snow, the snow piles up, makes it really hard to open the gate. But for the last week, I've been closing it again at night because the snow has been gone. Why are you out of breath? Because of the snow. The snow? Yeah. In the hall, you're walking here. Well, thank you. You did a good job getting me that shovel. Yeah. All right, let's get to digging. Are you ready to open Valentine's Day cards, little buddy? I hope 
so. A couple weeks ago, we participated in the Pratt Family Homestead Homestead Homeschool Valentine's Day card exchange. I think I get that right. Does that sound right? Yeah, I think so. This is where other homesteading YouTube channels that homeschool their children uh, made made Valentine's Day cards for each other and we mailed them to each other because some of the other children don't have homesteading communities or co-ops where they can exchange cards. Being Valentine's Day, we thought it was an appropriate time for us to open the cards. You, you ready? Yeah. This one is from Homestead Dad. Homestead Dad. Looks like you got the envelope open a little bit there. Yeah. Surprise! Cool. Can you pull it apart? Um, and it's glued together. Let's see. Ooh, that's cool. Have this you... one is from Flip Flop Barnyard. <laughs> it's a two little buddy from the Flip Flop Barnyard boys. This one is from the Holler Homestead. Just, but how do I open it? With just open it. Just, just rip it open. That's a pretty one. It says Happy Valen Dog. This one is actually from Eli from White House on the Hill. Jake's son, he wanted to make you a Valentine's Day card after he saw our video we made about making them. Okay. Thank you, Eli. Wait a minute. Eli's little brother may have made one too. Go ahead, open them. It's his little buddy from Eli. See the Ninja Turtle at the top? I think so. Yeah, it is a Ninja Turtle. Whoa. <laughs> Thank you for everybody for Valentine's Day cards. We hope you have a very nice Valentine's Day. You know what? We did not get a card from the Pratt Family Homestead. Oh no! I know, we're gonna have to go check the mailbox, see if it came late. Little Buddy and I are heading out to do evening chores and we're gonna check on how many eggs we got today, right buddy? Why? Maybe we'll even get an olive egg, what do you think? Yeah, we got a, a few olive eggs before the real, real sea one. They're green, you guys will see them and see what color they real are. Okay, okay let's go. Ready? All right, so let's check inside the greenhouse. Nine slightly dirty eggs. All right, let's see what we have here in the chicken tractor. Excuse me. One, two, three. Oh, more dirty eggs, my goodness. Four, oh, look at this. Look at this. Now this is an olive egg. We'll get this cleaned up and looking nice. Six, seven, eight. We might be going for a new record today. We're at 17 total. We gotta we gotta get past 18. Oh no, I'm not feeling anymore. So our nest box holder thing here broke, it collapsed, and the birds weren't using the nest boxes, obviously, because they fell out. They decided to make a nest in this corner back there, and they've been laying all their eggs there. So we've just been going with that. We've been using that, just collecting them from there. The birds seem to really like it there. So we just let them, we're just letting them do their thing there and in the spring we're gonna get this tractor fixed back up. So 17 eggs today, not bad at all for a cold snowy winter day. Here it is all washed off and cleaned up nicely. Our beautiful olive egg. The remaining speckles that you see on there are actually part of the egg coloring. It's it's definitely the copper moran coming out of them in their eggs. Copper morans have those speckled eggs. <laughs>